Hi guys, welcome to the Do It Yourself YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fit a pendant light, just like this one or any other decorative type of light you see. I'm going to show you how to fit one to the ceiling, but not only that, I'm going to show you how to remove an old ceiling rose and replace it with one of these. In the previous video, I'll show you how to upgrade or change a light switch. Might be useful for you at the same time to go check that video out. If you could subscribe to the channel, that helps me out massively. Being a fairly new channel, there's going to be loads of great content, electrical based content, plumbing, massive projects, construction, all kinds of things coming up. There's bound to be something that will help you out, so please subscribe. Let's get started on the job. Right, so the first thing to do is to remove the old cover over the ceiling rails. First thing we're going to have to do is make sure we've isolated the power to the lighting circuit that we're working on. We can check that in a couple of ways. First and most easy way is to switch on the light switch. If it doesn't come on, you've got no power. Secondly, we can test with a volt pen or voltage detector. Okay, so I have a proper wiring diagram on my last video, but I'll explain to you a little bit how this works. There's plenty of wiring diagrams for seal and roses online though. What we have here is on the loop, we've got earth wires coming in, one earth wire from our consumer unit, one earth wire going to the next room and one earth wire going to the switch. What we then have is live coming from the consumer unit, live to the next room and alive to the switch. Neutral from the consumer unit, neutral to the next room and we have a neutral to come back into our circuit from the light bulb. From the switch we've got a neutral which has been made into a switch live and a live feed going to the light bulb. Let's take all this wire out of here. It can sometimes be useful if you're new to this to take a photo so that you can see in the case that you lose your bearings of what you're trying to do. What we'll do is try and keep everything together. Take all the earths out and all the neutrals out. Keep them all together. This neutral wire here, coming down to the light, we're going to lose. Try to keep my arms out of the way so that you can see. If we actually take out this switch live here, we can pull that out and lose the old light altogether. The switch live is an important one. We need to make sure that we get that in the right place because otherwise we'll have our light on permanently. Another little tip for you, if your light stays on permanently, it's because you've got your switch live in the wrong place. Take this old plate away. Like that. And if you're lucky, when you put your new light up, you might be able to reuse these plasterboard fixings. We're all going to have different scenarios here. What you might have is screws direct into a joist above. If not, you may have to fit your own plasterboard fixings. So take your fixing bracket off. You'll probably get some plugs and some screws with it. In our scenario, if you look up here, we have plasterboard fixings already in place and we've got lucky that our bracket actually lines up properly with the holes so we can use that already and that will cover up all this mess. So what we need to do now is these three brown lives, we need to terminate them into our terminal block and then insulate the terminal block. Once you've got them in just give them a little pull, check that they're in properly. Get yourself some brown or red tape and insulate that terminal block. These neutral wires, to make it easier for ourselves, we're going to extend down to the light. So what we need to do is put the two neutrals into a block. Like that. Leave that there for a minute. All your earth wires, I've bunched them together because it's made it easier. 
put them into a terminal block. You're probably thinking where are all these blocks going to go? Well, you have a cavity in the ceiling and we're going to make that hole bigger and we're going to push them up there if we need to. Some lights are bigger and you can fit the wiring inside them and you don't get that problem. We're probably going to have that problem with the size of light that we're using. Fix this bracket in place. You do have adjustment on the bracket if you do need to move it slightly. We might do in a minute, but we'll leave it there for now. If you have enough length on the switch live to put that straight into your live terminal, great, do it that way. If not, you'll have to use the terminal block on here to drop a piece of wire down. Sometimes that's easier anyway, because you can work on it down here rather than trying to work on it all bunched up up here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring some wires down, just extend it slightly and, and wire this light up that way. Cut yourself a piece of earth wire, sleeve it, must be sleeved, always sleeve it. Put that into your terminal block. Like that. Bend that up slightly and your sleeve can't fall off. We'll put our switch live into a terminal block. Make sure when you do this, that your switched live wire has this brown sleeving on it. So if anyone comes to this, they don't make a mistake thinking that this is a neutral wire. Sometimes these can drop off. Neutral into a terminal block. Now, if you haven't got enough space to fit all the wiring in your light fitting, what we'll have to do is make this hole here bigger and push some of this up. We'll insulate all these first. When you're doing this, Make sure you don't catch any of the wiring in the ceiling. You can use a standing knife or any sharp blade just to make this slightly bigger. It hasn't got to be huge and it needs to fit within the space, obviously, of your light fitting. Otherwise, you're going to see the hole outside of your light fitting once you're finished. Right now, because we've done it like this and extended them out, it gives us a lot more room to actually wire the light up. So obviously we're going to go blue, which is a neutral wire, into our neutral terminal inside the light fitting. It can be a little bit fiddly. Sometimes these come out. If you want to take it out, you can. It makes it a little bit easier for you. Give them a tug once you're done, just to make sure that they're actually in place properly. See it brown live into the live here and earth into earth. Again, just try to test them, check that they're in. So at this stage, we're going to just go downstairs, put the power back on, and test the light before we do our final fitting. That now works perfectly. Push all your wiring up into the hole you just made. Tidy this up, get it all to fit inside your light fitting. And then it should just push, twist, and hook. Like that. There we go. And now we'll just do these two screws up. Now all you need to do, level it up, straighten it up, hold it in place, and do the two screws up on the side. Your light fitting will probably be different to mine, but you get the idea. Do the screws up, just like that. And as you can see, that is all fitted perfectly. Right, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully that's helped some of you guys to fit a new light. Uh, drop me a comment. There's gonna be some great content coming, electrics, plumbing, big bathroom projects, construction, reviews on tools, all that kind of thing. So hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.